Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm gonna answer a question of a client of mine. Should you tell a girl the feelings that you are having for her or should you tell a girl that you want to be in a relationship with her? My name is Phil Heitlinger, a professional flirt trainer and dating coach and I'm going to teach you how to become a confident, charismatic and naturally attractive alpha male that gets a lot of hot girls. Okay guys, if you're new to this channel, then please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Also let me know in the comments below if you have any question regarding your dating life and let's get into the topic. So I have this client of mine and he got to know a girl in a coaching program that he is in a WhatsApp group and then he texted her and then he immediately started that he wanted her to be his girlfriend and he developed his feelings for her and he started to idealize her and he just was totally obsessed with this girl and he developed feelings for her even if they never slept with each other. And what I want to do in this video is that I'm going to show you all the problems that are coming from this and what the woman is thinking about you when you tell her how much you love her, when you tell her how much you are interested in her and all of that stuff that is just not good for you. So I also had this problem two times in love with two girls when I was 18 and I was when I was 19 I was in love with two girls. Let's call the girls Erica and Linda maybe and it's really funny because these girls I never slept with a girl I never kissed those girls and I actually never did anything with these girls and like totally out of the blue after we've been hanging around for a little bit because I got to know her over the social circle I was just like out of the blue telling her that I'm in love with her and that I want to be in a relationship with her, right? And then she said, hmm, you know, Phil, you're really cute and everything, but I don't think I want to be in a relationship with you and we should be friends. And then I thought, hmm, okay, maybe it's not so bad if I'm friends with her, I can still make something happen, right? But I could feel how she would lose all respect for me. She would lose all respect for me. She lost all interest in me. And what I did then is I sent her like walls of texts via SMS I think because I don't even think there was WhatsApp back then or Telegram or something like that, right? So I always send the girls texts like this with hey uh, We should be together. We should be in a relationship. It would be so great with us I've been thinking about the future and everything and I even started to Imagine the future with her and planning the future with the girl and all of that stuff And I was a total beta male and nice guy Okay, so if you are in a position right now where you are chasing a girl where you are texting or double texting girls where you are following a girl or where you when you're obsessed with a girl and you look at her social media at all her profiles and look what she's posting and what she's doing and all of that stuff then my friend you're probably suffering from onitis and that means you idolize a girl that she is the one that she is the one and only and that you want to make babies with her start a family and everything right the problem is that women see this as a total weakness because women want to have a man that is independent that is having other girls that is attractive to not only one girl but to many girls right and when you text a girl or when you say to a girl that you want to be in a relationship when you haven't even been sleeping with each other or when you don't even know each other for long just for a few months and you're like hey uh, I want to be in a relationship with you because you're the only girl that I that I know and you're the only girl that I like and everything right then she will think that you don't have any options that is not attractive at all and she will think that she already got you and you never want to give a girl or woman the feeling that she already has you because she wants to have a man that is not controllable and that is emotionally stable and that can also live with not only one girl but that has just a great life and it's not so bad if she is not with him. Yeah, look, you have to think about it that there is one thing that is the biggest turn off ever and that is neediness. Because most guys, they're so needy to one girl and they put the girl on a pedestal and they think she's the one and there is no other girl like her, even if there's like many, right? We have abundance, my friends. And neediness 
is one of the things that is making dry like the Sahara, my friend. If you're acting needy over text, if you're acting needy in person while talking, she's losing interest immediately, right? You don't want to make a girl obligated to anything. What you do when you tell her I want to be in an exclusive relationship with her and you don't want to be the guy that is putting pressure on her and that's exactly what you do. So what is the solution to all this? Look, the solution to all this is that you're coming from a frame that you get to know the girl. When you see a girl and you approach her, your frame is, I'm going to get to know her and see if I like her. And then also, you don't only qualify the girl, you also disqualify girls if you don't like her, right? And when you like right from the start when you don't even know the girl and you don't know all her flaws and her bad habits and all her bad character traits and you tell her that you love her and that you have feelings for her and everything, she will think that you're a total loser. So never ever do that and also just get to know more women, have a lot more fun, have a lot more abundance thinking because there's a lot more girls than you think that are exactly your type looks wise and character wise and I am sure that if you put in the effort that you can get to know exactly these kind of girls. Yeah, so what I want you to do is that you become attractive to many girls. Not only one or two, become attractive to many girls, talk to many girls, spin plates, date many girls, go on dates, see what kind of girl you like, see what kind of girl you don't like, that you don't have to show your feelings or what you feel for a girl and never ever tell a girl. Let the girl be the one that after you slept with each other for a while, she will be the one that is asking you, what are we having here? And that's a whole other problem, right? <laughs> so yeah, what I want to say is that you are not a guy that is emotionally unstable, that is dependent or that is not independent from girls, that is looking at what she's doing, that is like focusing on a single girl to be the kind of girl that you want to start a family with and everything. So never plan ahead with a girl, never idealize a girl, never put a girl on a pedestal, but much rather become the guy that all the girls are attracted to so you can be the one that is choosing the kind of girls he is hanging around with and that he's dating, marrying, getting in a relationship, having friends with benefits or whatever. So look, if you've done all these mistakes, you're probably a nice guy and you're probably needy and you probably don't really know how to talk to girls, then what I would like you to do is that you apply now for a free consultation call with me and my team and we're going to find out if and how we can help you. It's a quick form, takes two minutes to fill out and then me or my team, we're going to call you and analyze your situation, find out how we can help and if you're a good fit, my friend, then maybe you can become one of my coaching clients and we're going to transform your dating life so you'll never run out of things to say. So you will be the guy that is attractive to the girls. You won't tell her all your feelings and you will become exactly the kind of guy that girls are instinctively attracted to my friends. So apply now for a free consultation call with us. Hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and then see you in the next video. Bye bye. She just wants to flirt, so I flirt right back. I just put in work, yeah, I work like that. Got me falling and it hurts, yeah, it hurts so bad. All in and it's worth everything I have. I could feel the butterflies multiply every time I meet your eyes. Amplify deep inside. Once I